And first here tonight at 10, we're asking questions about a train car crash that has killed an elderly man in Preble County. This is now the second deadly train collision that has happened near Camden in less than two years. Robert Lowry is live and asking questions about any connection between the two incidents. Mark and Katie, the Preble County Sheriff's Office has just released the identity of the man who was killed. He is 86-year-old James Johnson. And the sheriff's office says that Johnson was heading from his home across some private train crossing when, for some reason, he stopped on the track. And at that point, the sheriff says the train just didn't have enough time to slow down before hitting Johnson's vehicle. This is the damage done after a train smashed into a car in Preble County, killing the 86 year old driver. The family and neighbors mourning a longtime friend. We was eating and uh, the train stopped, but we didn't hear the, the, the impact. For nearly 40 years, Arnold Brewer has lived near these tracks just south of Camden on County Road 227. He says his friend was trying to go get fuel for his lawnmower when the crash happened. Emergency responders got on scene. Uh, we found one vehicle on the west side of the tracks uh, with one occupant, the driver. Uh, he was pronounced dead on arrival. The Purple County Sheriff's Office is conducting an investigation along with Norfolk Southern, the railroad's owner. It's not yet clear exactly what happened, but it's something the Sheriff's Office has dealt with not long ago. We don't have a lot of private crossings in the county, but we've got a handful. So uh, this is the second one probably in the last two or three years. Back in 2013, a Camden woman was killed when her vehicle and a train collided, again on a private crossing. State officials say before any safety measures are taken on a private road, the property owner and the railroad company would have to work out a plan. But neighbors say the railroad company recently cleared away some brush from the tracks, making the train easier to see. And they did a lot of clearing on the tracks. You can see both ways, uh, a long ways. But after another deadly crash, Brewer says he wouldn't mind seeing extra protections in his backyard. If anything that would help, you know, yeah. the crossings would be, would be good, yes. The sheriff's office also saying tonight their initial investigation shows that all the audible and visual warnings on that train were working as well as there was clearly marked on that private train crossing on both sides with a stop sign that there were train tracks there. Uh, the Montgomery County Coroner's Office will be handling Johnson's autopsy. Reporting live in Preble County, Robert Lowry, 2 News, working for you.